Okay, thank you, Ian, for taking the time to attend the EOS World Tour. Oh, thank um, you for having us. <laughs> your presentation was really exciting. Oh, thank and, you. <laughs> uh, please do tell me more about uh, Item Network. Um, Item Network, we are uh, a DAP project. We are building a store, mobile store where um, mobile games can uh, publish their games onto the platform and um, also they can, uh, the users can um, interact in a community and also they can trade and buy items and it's EOS based and yeah we're trying to make a transparent um, mobile gaming platform for the gaming industry. Mm. So, so far uh, how long are you into the development process? Um, so the company was officially established in May of this year and so we have a blockchain team and a develop a blockchain a blockchain team and a uh, game team so we're making a in-house game for the platform as well so um, that's being uh, it's been being developed for a couple of months now for um, since uh, June so it's been about like th uh, three months since the game has been developed and also the um, blockchain team We've developed the EOS wallet and also a block explorer, mm -hmm. and um, we're planning on uh, releasing the store by the end of this year. End of this year. So, would this store be in kind of a competition with, say, App, uh, Apple's App Store or Google Play? Um, it's going to be on the Galaxy app, um, mm -hmm. and there uh, the users can download download from there. We're in the talks with Samsung to get that officialized right now. But um, hopefully, if it does do well, then it could be a competitor to Apple or Google. Mm, great. So, what's the situation with the games? Do they have to build the games from ground up to tailor for your platform, or can it be just like a existing games that you can add these trading features mm -hmm. right, to the right. game? So it's basically the latter. Um, the games itself is going to be very similar to the ex existing games right now, so they won't have to be like um, too focused on the blockchain because um, the items that uh, the users will be trading, it's not going to be every single item. The items will have to be um, above a certain level, and those items will be those premium items will be able to be traded and transacted on the platform. But um, yeah. <clears throat> It's um, basically the uh, same as the existing games right now, and you'll get the same quality that you get with the mobile games today. I see. So you said you said that the platform is going to launch towards the end of this year, right? Um, yeah, we're um, hoping to have the store be released by December of this year. Mm -hmm. So I imagine you have been talking to game studios. Uh, and yeah. What's the feedback you're getting from them? Um, it's very positive. We have one um, that's going to. Um, to be released with the store, it's mm -hmm. called Azdaran, and it's um, we showed a video of it earlier in the presentation. But yeah, that's going to be released. We also have um, a lot of different genres. We don't want just one genre or one type of game to be on the platform. So we're in the talks with uh, um, some other game studios to have more of a wide variety of games on the platform. Yeah, I, I personally do play mobile games in some games um, that offers IIP in our purchases. So, I would imagine that if I really want to get this item, right, and like don't get it, I just keep spending money until right, I right. get it. So, but if you guys come in, right, then if I want like a very special item, I can just go to like a exchange, like item exchange, right? right? right I can right. just pay right away, just get the item I want. So, right. it, I somehow feel like in my situation that I just just described, uh, the game developer is could be losing out on extra cash. Um, so, well, first for the users, it would be beneficial for the users because like, um, let's say you're playing game A, but you want to switch over to play game B, mm. but you've spent a lot of, you've invested a lot of time and money on, the, on game A, but if you switch over to B, then you're basically losing all of the time and money invested. Right. So with our platform, you can um, basically trade for um, the games on item B, like for the users that want to go from B to A, you can transact that. So there's more beneficial for the uh, users to um, yeah be on the platform. As for the um, the game developers, I mean, blockchain is um, very it's an inevitable um, technology, I believe, mm -hmm. and um, it's um, advantageous for the game developers to um, uh, be a first mover on to the technology. 
but for um especially in the gaming community um it's very hard for small to medium game companies to uh, publish their games unless you're like a really large company you um, they have a lot of uh, difficulty being funded so um, what we also offer is a crowdfunding type of uh, system where the users vote for like the different types of games that they would like to see um, being published and with that um, the small to medium-sized uh, gaming companies can have a funding to get their um, project um, to start their uh, project wow so there's actually a lot of different aspects of your project right, right, like what yes. you said like there's a item exchange and there's also like a crowdfunding platform yes yes so um yeah for, uh, it would be beneficial for like the small to medium size. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't expect the large uh, companies to be um, like uh, trying to uh, get their games onto the platform. We're um, designing it more for like the small to medium sized companies that needs and uh, should, uh, that they deserve the recognition. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a very cool product. And what's your business strategy on pushing out a platform? Is it going to be career focused first or? You look into um, expanding it's, to uh, global. Countries. We're trying to go global. Um, we have the uh, the products and the services that we offer right now. The Explorer and the Wallet. They're all um, available in English, mm -hmm. and um, the platform will be available in English as well. If a game studio is really interested to put their games onto a platform, mm -hmm. is what is the application process? Um, so first, they would uh, contact us. Uh, they can uh, contact us via email or a telegram. Um, it's I, uh, telegram at item network. Um, and then we can uh, get a meeting going. And uh, yeah, I think that um, they would have to meet up with our CEO and um, uh, just go on from there. Is there like a minimum bar of entry that that you require, that you seek, try to seek from a game? We would just look for like what they're trying to do and what kind of game that they're trying to accomplish. Would you prefer more like a casual game or a more serious game? Like um, I don't think we have a, a like a, uh, we don't restrict hmm. on the type of games. We're open to a lot of different type of games. <laughs> Why did you choose EOS to be the platform to develop on? Right. Um, so our founders, um, they got really interested into uh, blockchain, the blockchain technology last year seeing all the ICOs and um, everything. But uh, once they started researching more on EOS, they realized the potential that it has, the faster transactions and all the features that it offers. They saw that if it's EOS, then it could actually change the, uh, the, wor uh, the world and the, the, the world of mobile gaming. And uh, mobile games, um, or just games in general, they were like the forefront of um, the computer, computer and the internet and smartphone. I believe that what they did to the internet and the smartphone, they can do to um, blockchain technology as well. And the only platform that I personally believe that can do this is EOS. Great, wow, that's a huge uh, plus or statement yes. that's supporting EOS. <laughs> it's amazing. And since uh, we all know that EOS is still the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, obviously a lot of uh, people are involved in the community including um, working on the constitution. Um, what would you say to the core communities that you as a developer would like to see EOS to improve on that can really make your life much easier? Um, I mean, as you mentioned, it's only been, um, what, like three months now that the mainnet has launched. I think that we need to be a little bit more patient in um, seeing how it matures and how it develops. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's um, undeniable that there is some lag, there is some time lag. If it matures after a, a little time has passed by, then it's going to mature and it's going to develop and it won't be too problematic. Mm -hmm. Can I just give a shout out to our um, social okay. medias? And uh, so we have a medium. Um, I'll say it today. Oh, okay. yeah. We have a medium a, a blog channel. Uh, it's medium.com slash item network. Also, a Facebook um, item network, Facebook.com slash item network. And uh, we are uh, posting a lot of content on Medium on uh, EOS development and um, like guidelines for developers, and also on gaming, uh, gaming content. And on Facebook, we have um, some uh, like card, card contents where um, 
it shows like more of like a, the entertainment side of blockchain again. Right.